For our demo, I'll show you a sample uh, integration with Kafka. Kafka is a message queue containing queues called topics into which we can write messages calling producing messages and from which we can read messages which is called consuming. Uh, we'll write a Java business operation which would produce messages into Kafka and after that we'll develop a .NET service which would consume messages from Kafka and send them back to Intersystem Cyrus. Let's see it. I'm starting with uh, Java business operation. Here is my class. It extends uh, business operation interface, abstract class. Uh, first of all, I have two public settings. First of all, servers, uh, which is the address of Kafka server. And second one is client, which is my well, client name. Um, next, I have on init method, which is run once on process startup, where I obtain a pointer to inter-system service for ease of use, and I actually connect to Kafka. There is also some logging going on. The logging methods correspond to the usual interoperability macros and would be visible in uh, Visual Trace. We'll see them later. On teardown is a corresponding method to the on init and it's run once on the process shutdown. Finally, on message method is called every time business operation must process a next message. Uh, in our example, we assume that uh, the message would have text and topic fields, which we get into local variables. We create a Kafka record and send it to Kafka. As an answer from Kafka, we get an offset and we return it as an ensemble interoperability message of ans uh, string container class. And in a production configuration, it looks like that I have a Kafka producer operation and all the settings are available, well, pack specific settings are available in this category. First of all, the class name, next, settings where to connect to. It's all running in um, in Docker and actually available on Open Exchange. So if you want to reproduce uh, this demo, it can be easily done. Uh, and host and port is um, where to connect to Java Gateway. Class path, if I want some additional jars, I can do that. All right, let's test it. I am choosing Kafka request type and send a hello world message to a test topic in Visual Trace you can see that the logging we performed in a business operation is available in Visual Trace we received the message of um, DC Kafka request. Let's go uh, into Kafka and see that uh, it received our message. Here's our test topic. Let's browse the data. And yeah, here's our message. Now let's uh, read it in a, in a business service. Here's our .NET business service. It extends uh, business service and implements the required methods. We again have public property servers uh, where to connect to Kafka. Topic, which topic to subscribe to. Target uh, config names, a comma separated list of uh, business hosts in interoperability to which we want to send our Kafka messages which we consumed. Again, we have on init method where we initialize our connections and also subscribe to a topic. On teardown, corresponding method where we disconnect from everything and on process input is running in an endless cycle consuming messages and sending them to uh, targets as ends, uh, string container messages asynchronously. 
let's enable our business service oh wait settings settings right so it's all the same uh, remote class name and I specify the class name settings target config names is BP and we subscribe to the test topic which we just sent a um, message with our Kafka producer operation how to access gateway .NET gateway and the DLL with our library all right I'm enabling it and let's go to message viewer and we'll see yeah here is our message hello world um, we received it from Kafka and sent to BP business host.